Welcome to Understanding Your Team, the Student Affairs Advisor. Hi, I'm Ebony Calvin, Director of Campus Life, and a Student Affairs Advisor to Student Programming Board, Haraya the Pan-African Students Coalition, our cultural groups, religious organizations, and our newly recognized organizations. One major resource available to you as a student leader is your Student Life Advisor. All organizations recognized under SGI are assigned a student affairs advisor who will assist you and your board throughout the entire year. Not to be confused with a faculty moderator or academic advisor. Student affairs advisors are your first point of contact for all questions related to your organization. What is the purpose of your advisor? Well, advisors are administratively responsible for your group and help to ensure that you are in compliance with SGI, the Division of Student Affairs, and University Guidelines. We provide approvals for your event reservation requests, budget payments, and reimbursement for contracts, graphics, and more. Lastly, we serve as a resource to you and your community. We are here to answer questions, give advice, and share professional development opportunities that will assist you with becoming a better leader and building your resume. So take advantage of getting to know your advisor. How to connect with your advisor. Considering the times we are in, use email to directly contact your advisor to ask questions. Also, do not be afraid to request a virtual meeting. You can pop in during one of our virtual office hours each advisor will have different hours posted and students can connect with us on a first come, first serve basis without scheduling an appointment. Just like in the office, if you arrive for a virtual session and we are meeting with someone, you will have an opportunity to wait in the lobby until the previous session has ended. Then you can enter and start to chat. You can locate our advisor hours on our virtual page, which is stjohns.edu virtual activities. So what advice do I have for student leaders? I have five. One, get to know your advisor, their preferences for communication, and times they are available. Working remote doesn't mean we are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Two, when in doubt, ask your advisor. Do not make decisions without knowing the policies and getting approvals. Three, read your emails. Reading your emails and notifications from Campus Activities and Student Government Incorporated will save you time and ensure you do not miss any deadlines and opportunities. Also, many of the questions you may have, we have already answered or provided you with the resource. Set aside time to read your emails. Four, plan ahead and use your calendar to make note of deadlines. One of the biggest challenges leaders face is that they don't plan ahead which can result in the cancellation of your program, poor attendance for your event, and sometimes judicial action. Make sure you get all approvals and that you get them in advance. Five, fully commit to being a student leader and set aside time throughout the week to work on your initiatives. That could include creating a meeting agenda, planning an event, submitting a request, designing a social media plan, connecting with members, or other tasks related to making your group successful. If you want to be a great leader, you have to commit and do the work. Your experience as a student leader is important to us. To ensure we are providing you with the resources needed each month, you will have an opportunity to give us feedback and share your experience. Many of you are also wondering about the Fall Activities Fair. The Campus Activities team is in the process of planning and we will make a major announcement on our Instagram page. So remember to follow us at SJU Activities for updates. In addition to this video, you can download the advisor list where you can find out who will serve as your 2020 Student Affairs Advisor and an outline of the role of executive board members. Now that you know the role and the purpose of your advisor, you can move on to other sessions to learn about the role of a student leader, faculty moderator, and SGI. This is only the beginning of your journey and we wish you the best of luck as we take on this adventure together. See you soon.